What up? It's your boy MC Shadow. Now, like the title says, what I wanted to talk about. And I'm right here at the fucking high and it's fucking high, but where I'm at it's cold, but then when I come on break, it's like high, like fuck, that shit's wet. That's why I gotta have the AC on, cause man, shit ain't no joke. Coming from heat to cold, heat and cold, shit's whack. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about, like the title, um, I wanted to get into several subjects, you know. Uh, what I actually wanted to talk about just specifically was uh, tattoos, you know, the gang tattoos. Um, and, um, but then, you know, a comment that was made by a camarada, I'll go into it when, when I get there. Um, now, the gang tattoos. <laughs> what I, what I, what I see happens a lot, um, especially at the high lake when I hear like these older people, uh, talk, they think just cause somebody has like, like a bunch of tattoos that they're gang members and, uh. Some of the people that they're making these comments about, you know, like, let's say, for example, at work, you know, they call them, you know, like gangster or cholos or whatever. And the guy's a rocker, you know, and like who has no gang ties like whatsoever, but he does have a bunch of tattoos. But it when you're when you're from the streets, you know, right away when you're looking at somebody, what tattoos are gang tattoos and which ones are not. You know what I mean? Like you could just tell by the patterning um, and just uh, the designs and everything like. Yeah, they gang tattoos or if they gang related or, or, or not, you know what I mean? Um, but he has straight up rocker tattoos, you know what I mean? He has a Super Mario, he has a, a Pokemon, he has a, a like a flower type design, um, you know, like a bunch of shit like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you oh, know, gang member, like, what are they talking about? You know what I mean? Um, but now the gang tattoos in general, like going into the gang tattoos, um, now. Every neighborhood is different, right? Like, there's certain neighborhoods out there. Um, I won't go into specific which neighborhoods. Um, um, some, you have to earn your tattoos. You can't put your neighborhood on you and uh, unless you earn them. You have to go and earn them, and then you're allowed to put the hood on you or whatever. And then there's some that just give it away like, like candy, like for free. Like, as many as you want right now, right here. And you haven't even done nothing. Um, and they could say... They could say that no, that you have to earn them and everything like that, but I know for a fact that's a goddamn lie. A one hundred percent. I'm not bullshitting. I'm not hating. Nothing. That's a lie. You know what I mean? Uh, some, you know, yeah, you do have to earn them, and some do, you know, face, head, and everything. They earned all of them. But certain neighborhoods, they be lying when they say all of that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I know for a fact that they that that ain't true. Uh, some of them fools get blasted like that just to uh, scare people and intimidation, but that doesn't work. If you're from the streets, uh, a guy could be tatted from whatever. You're not going to give him no flying fucks. You know what I mean? There's homies that have absolutely not one single tattoo, and those fools are fucking witty, witty. Uh, perfect example, go and watch um, uh, Toker uh, from the brown side when he talks about that because he doesn't have no tattoos, and that motherfucker was real and solid. Um, but and then there's homies in there that have no tattoos and they they monsters homie so you being blasted like that is not going to intimidate it might intimidate everyday people but it's not going to intimidate those who are from the streets you know they don't give a fuck what you look like they're going to take off whether you have zero or none now um, you know what I mean uh, see the thing is for the two reasons why people get uh, the, the neighborhood tattoo on them one they love the neighborhood you know what I mean? They love the neighborhood a, a lot. Um, not to brag or 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 or, or nothing or, not, you know, I'm just using an example. Like me, I got my neighborhood tattooed on me like um, like nine times. You know what I mean? Uh, from my fingers to the palm of my arm and 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 my neck, my back, chest, arms. And, you know, I, whatever, all of that. I have, it, I have it on me like about nine times. Um, there's homies from my neighborhood that have it on them like thirty times. You know what I mean? Like. Um, but you know, because they, they love the neighborhood and I know people are going to be like, that's stupid, that's dumb. And, and I agree with you, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, this is the life we chose and it is what it is. And I will still get the neighborhood on me again, you know? And yes, I know it's dumb. Like grow up, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I understand. But like I said, I just, this, the mental's crazy. Like, I could realize that that shit is stupid and dumb and everything like that, but I just can't help but to feel that way. Like, you know, and I'm not even bullshitting or nothing like that. Like, 
that urge is, is fucking crazy already. Seeing like psychiatrists and therapists and all that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, that's what I was talking about. Um, yeah, and then the other the other reason um, is <laughs> because of drugs. See, the thing about alcohol and drugs is that there's fakes in everything in this world. You know, that they're going to try to uh, portray something that they're not. And any kind of thing. Yeah, why would they do that to you? I don't know why they would. A life that's going to bring you nothing but chaos, destruction, no money. Why would they try to fit in that? Ah, like, it had to be some psychological trauma that they suffered, you know. And um, I don't know. Same with rappers. Uh, they have all that millions and millions of dollars, and yet they get caught doing all the most dumbest shit with guns and kicking in a game. And we're like, why? They're, you're rich already. What you doing? <laughs> You know, and I mean, uh, they weren't gang members before. They were like, they became rich and then they went to go, you know, like Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, uh, like shit like that. Like, what the fuck? Um, I don't know why people do, you know, why these fakes try to fit into into this world. This makes no sense to me either. Um, but that does happen. And uh, when somebody, that's why when somebody drinks or does drugs, you see that they their, their attitude changes or the way that they are changes. That's because... Uh, when they're sober and trying to act or, or pretend to be something that they're not, whatever, so they're able to think about it and uh, put themselves on check and, and, and uh, you know, like act, you know, act it out, like script it out. You know, it's kind of like you're an actor, you know, you script it out. When you're sober, you'll be able to do it, but when you're drunk, you won't be able to do it because that's not who you are, you know what I mean? So you'll just, you know, you won't be able to do it. So... When they drugged out, they're not able to control what's real and what's not. You know what I mean? That's why when they sober up, they're like, fuck, man, why did I put that shit on me or whatever the fuck. Even from face to head and all of that. That's because they were so drunk that they actually believed all the lies that they've been saying for so many years. So many years they've been telling these lies that they started believing them when they're drunk and that's why that shit happens. But then once, if you see them changing their life, they start removing the tattoos. You know what I mean? That's because they weren't really about that life. Now, there's a difference when you're religious and, and, and removing the tattoos. Because when you're religious, uh, they're not doing it because they weren't really about that life or they weren't with it. Um, the reason they're removing it is because, you know, um, you know what they be pre what they preach in church. And, and even though I don't agree with that, I don't agree with, look, I don't agree with this shit of removing tattoos. I'm going to tell you why, though. Because... You shouldn't say tattoos are bad or 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 um, you have to remove them because what will society think of you or, or, or to be a better person. No. A fool could be tattooed from the head, face, anything. He could be the most kindest soul in the world compared to a guy that has no tattoo who's a fucking pedophile, molester, uh, uh, rapist, uh, all of that. See, the problem with society is uh, they tell us that dressing like this is bad. Don't dress like that or having these tattoos is bad. Don't whatever. That's not true. You know what I mean? And the fact that you guys think like that is the reason why uh, criminals always keep getting away, um, why they can never find murder, rapists, and everything like that. Because we start tricking society to believe that these are the people you should watch out for. And then that's why these people end up taking advantage of those people. You know, I mean, the ones that, uh, you know, like Ted Bundy or uh, John Gacy or um, any of these fucking sickos in the world because they look like regular, the guy from Subway with Jarrett, whatever. Because they look like regular people. Because we keep telling everybody, look, that's how a, a good person should look. That's how a good person should look and behave and everything like that. That's why they never fucking see it coming. You know what I mean? And you're telling them, oh, watch out for that person. When, if anything, that person would have fucking, uh, you know, like, had his back for the end of time. You know what I mean? Like, just because someone doesn't go to church or look a certain way does not make them a bad person. You know, the fact that we keep preaching that shit is the reason all this fucking shit ends up happening to people. Because you you keep telling them that that's the person that's, that's kind and, and they shouldn't have to watch out for. Is these people the ones that you should watch out for? What the fuck is that? I don't know no fucking... Harley, maybe, maybe it does happen occasionally. Like I said, the ones that do try to fit in and everything like that. But occasionally, you hardly see any gang members that are fucking rapists or, or, or pedophiles or ser uh, serial, uh, uh, serial killers. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking rare, rare. You know? Because even though we're gang members, we were victims before we were gang members. We uh, we know uh, 
what it is to have it rough or as a child growing up how hard it was so so uh we sympathize with those people like we we understand their pain so therefore um we're more like helpful or want to help those kind of people because it reminds us like of us before the world uh before the streets you know devoured us um you know what i mean so we could sympathize and everything like compared to someone who who has no knowledge or whatever that's why he he could feel no uh, kind of compassion to that kind of person because he he know, he doesn't know nothing about that world, so he to him it's easy to be like, yeah, fuck that, yeah, because you have no knowledge. You just want to judge and go based on what what people fucking tell you, and you should already know. You should never base uh, whatever it is, a book, movie, uh, show, on somebody else's opinion, because even though that person could say something, you go and be like, damn, that shit was the best thing I ever watched, and they said it was the most garbage shit ever. That's what I mean. You gotta. Judge for yourself. Don't go based on what everyone tells you. You know what I mean? Tattoos and all that shit don't make you bad and 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 all of that. You know what I mean? And like I said, for us the reason why, you know, is all of that is like kinda like the Aztec Mayan culture, you know, every battle you you earn your, your trophy and and all of that. It's stupid, I know, but um that's pretty much the way it goes. Um so you know when you strongly about something or passion, that's why people get like the name of their you know, significant other. I know some don't, but some do. Uh, I got my wife's name tattooed on me, and proudly, you know what I mean. Love you, baby. Um, but it's the only one too. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not stupid. Um, Cause I know that she was the one. Um, but see, the thing is that you know, so when somebody feels like. A certain passion for something Whether it's on a car too They put their You know Whatever part of Mexico They're from Or, or Texas Or United You know what I mean Because they're probably You know Passionate about that They want to display it uh, And I know Like why I feel Probably about A world like this Growing up That's why Be careful how you Raise these kids man It will have a psychological effect Um that's real shit, like bullshit to the side and everything. And you could say that's not fucking true and blah blah blah. Whatever. It's so easy for you to say that because you didn't live this way. You didn't. Don't walk. You didn't never walk in my shoes. So, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And maybe you are more strong-minded than I am. Good job for you. You know what I mean? We're not all built the same. You know, mentally you could be stronger. Physically, I could be stronger. Who knows? And who cares? You know what I mean? It's not a competition, and it's not. You know, it's like. Uh, I understand uh, my weakness and, and I got no shame in it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I realize that not everybody uh, could control, you know, you know, the world or, or shit like that. You know what I mean? And, uh, and we just got to accept it. You know, now going into the whole church thing. Because I have a, a, a camarada who's a tagger, right? And he was saying about uh, one of his homies, uh, Theos, who, who, who became Christian. And he's like, oh, he's a bitch and everything like that. Like, why? Why is he a bitch? Because he goes to church? Look, people have to understand there's a difference when, when they say that he's Christian and, and what they mean by that. You know what I mean? Uh, meaning that you're no good when you're Christian. Like, let's say you're in jail and, and you were with the program active and everything like that. And, and all of a sudden now, because uh, shit is getting real, uh, you want to turn to God... Uh, to, to, to escape uh, the storm that's coming your way. Um, that's when you, you know, when you were the one that was brewing it as well. Uh, that's when you you know good. You know what I mean? But let's say if you did everything for your neighborhood. If you out here, you put in work and everything like that. And, and, and now you just want to settle down with your family. And, and, and now you, you know, you found the Lord and everything like that. Hey, more power to you. I, I respect that. And, and, um, and, and that's good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. That person will forever still be good in the neighborhood, at least to me and to uh, my homies um, that we have. We have homies from the neighborhood that uh, that are now Christian, and you ain't gonna tell me that that those homies ain't no good and that and that uh, that they bitches or pussies, cause homie they gave it every last drop of sweat and everything to the neighborhood. Uh, they've been through it all and all kind. You, we couldn't ask no more from them bottles. You know what I mean? Now it's time for them to, you know, live however they want, peacefully. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they could still kick it amongst us and everything. Uh, maybe not talk about, like, the, the gang culture no more or anything neighborhood related. But still be a camarada, a compa that can hang out with us and drink some pizza. Talk about the football game, basketball game. It, you know, it's all good, homie. You know what I mean? But 
Now, if he was in jail and he rolled it up, he became Christian in there because he was scared of all that, then yeah, he ain't no good no more. You know what I mean? Um, and everybody's going to have their own different opinions on that, but but if they did it out here, if they did everything, you know, right, and now they just, how the fuck are they not no good, homie? I don't understand. Like, what, you were going to have him still gangbanging at the, at the age of fucking, um, about to be 40 or 40? Mama, his daughter's already like a shit. McDonald's will give you a senior citizen coffee cup already, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to the uh, older people watching. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, nah, you're not a little kid no more. And he, you could be still like the older guys that still do it. Hey, to everybody means their own. If, if that's how they, st if they still want to be doing it at the age of 50, 60, because I do know uh, some gente like that, then that's feed me too, homie. So the wheels fall off, you know? I'll be representing till my wheels fall off. Um, maybe not out there like banging and doing like the little kid shit, but at least representing and and shit. If, if shit cracks, if shit cracks, you know what I mean? Um, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, but that's why kids just stay in school. Fuck this world and stay in school. I know what I'm telling you guys. Stay in school. That's real shit. I'm not even joking around, not even playing, not even not. Leave the streets alone, bro. Coming from somebody that, you know, knows about this world, just stay in school. Um, and like I said, I'm no PC or I never snitched or I'm not religious because I don't believe in religion, um, you know, and everything. I'm not saying it's bad, but that's just how I am. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you know. So, you know, like just because someone just goes to church now and suddenly that, that does not make them a bitch or pussy or no good, you know what I mean? And Tattoos don't let them fool you. You know what I mean? Um, they don't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? And it, you know, um, to us, as one, you know, it should mean something. But to other people, their opinions is irrelevant. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not here to oh yeah, look at my tacos on me. Hello, respect me. Nah, fuck. I don't care if people like him or they don't like him. You know what I mean? Uh, it's about what I think and, and what they mean to me. So. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, just want to get that one out of the way. Uh, I know most people kind of really don't like the way I see things or like you're a hypocrite or whatever. I, what can I say, man? You didn't walk in my shoes, homie. So you don't know why I think this way. You know what I mean? It's like why you could say uh, that's dumb. Anyone could just. You know what I mean? Kind of like why you can't let go of your bad habits. Because everybody has them. Why not? Just let it go. It's that easy. You know? And see channel, I'm out.